people, welcome back to Good Day, and it's always a good day when someone makes brunch for you, so. We have Chef Michaela, or Chef K from Island Soul, doing that for us this morning. Thanks for joining us here, Chef My K. My absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me once again. Uh, well, it's not as cold as I. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. It's Marvel. not as cold outside, so. Uh -huh. Um, New Year's Eve is coming up. Yeah. We're ready to wrap up 2022 mm -hmm. and head on into 2023. Yes. And what better way to bring in the New Year than to host your own New Year's Eve shindig with your closest friends and family and just bring in that New Year, right? Oh, yeah. So that is what I am here to do today is to help you bring a little bit of island-esque or a little bit of spice to your event so that it leaves your guests talking about, wow, did you taste this? Did you see this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's, That's the best. Yeah. That's the best compliment. Yeah, so that is what we're working with today. So just to bring a little bit of island flair, we're going to work on a few things we're gonna okay. use regular meatballs that you can either make at home or you can buy at the store but we're gonna add a little twist to it we're gonna make a passion fruit glaze to go on it and I want it to be a little extra I know this is not Caribbean but I have some Korean chili paste which is my absolute favorite and it just Ooh. adds another level of depth of flavor we're also gonna work on a pineapple salsa because the beautiful thing about New Year's Eve or that type of party you don't have a set menu like yeah. Thanksgiving where you have the turkey and the mac and cheese you and stuff anything. you yes. can put anything together yeah. for your New Year's Eve party and Everyone is going to be like, oh, we have a little bit of sweet, we got a little bit of heat, we got this and that. So, enough of my talk, and we're going to work <laughs> on this here glaze. Um, I found this at Costco. It so is, this a is a passion fruit honey puree. Do you want to mm. show them maybe what Yeah, that? you can find go. that at Costco, or maybe <laughs> not. Costco, some of these finds at Costco are, like when you go to Walmart or Home Goods, you find it one time, and you don't know if you're going to ever find it again. Yep. So passion fruit. And then you fall in love with it, and then you can never find it again. And then you can, never find, you can never find it again. <laughs> so passion fruit is a berry. Hence all the little seeds. Yes, they are edible. Um, the seeds are tart, so that's why I like it. So you have mm -hmm. the sweet with the honey, and then we're gonna add some um, of the chili paste to it, some soy sauce, Worcestershire. Wow, I said that correctly. <laughs> I, uh, Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> she was usually how I say it. And then we're gonna go ahead and let this passion fruit with its natural sweetness go ahead and reduce. We're gonna add some of that chili paste to it. So is the chili paste pretty spicy? That's what I was gonna ask. You're talking to a Caribbean gal here yeah, now, okay? Right. Nothing like too spicy. spicy. Okay. But this definitely does have a little bit of kick to it. Yeah. So we're gonna do two things at once. We're gonna let that go down. We're gonna set that on high, just let it simmer. Already, I bought store-bought uh, meatballs at Kroger. Mm -hmm. To wonderful and then so we're gonna <laughs> let that go at the end we're gonna grate some ginger into that we're gonna um, finish it with some lemon juice because even though the seeds are tart mm -hmm. we still want to add a different depth of flavor so you want to put your salt your sweet your bitter yes. everything together to create a well-rounded um, flavor on your palate I was gonna say I love the variety of different flavors mm -hmm. we have here we have the sweet we have the tart the spicy mm -hmm. that yeah. is this kind of like touches for. all bases and that's what you need when it comes to hosting a party or even and bring foods together mm. you don't have to be elaborate or extravagant with it you can mm. have the simple stuff like I have crackers I have grapes I have cheese but you want that wow factor that one thing or two that your, your guests are gonna be like oh my god I went to this party <laughs> and then meatballs yes so you want to you, yeah. you want to create that so this is bubbling I'm gonna turn it down I'm gonna let it simmer, and then we're gonna slide on over it while this is working. So it's once, once, let's say, let's get to a bubble. That's when you want to turn the heat yep, down. Yep, that's when you want to turn it down because okay. you don't want the sugars to caramelize too fast. If you do that too fast, it's gonna burn, and yep. that's where that bitter flavor comes in. Okay, and that can be overpowering, and we don't, we don't want that. We want to wow them, not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, on the side here, I'm going to do some pineapple salsa real quick and easy. You can use fresh pineapples or you mm -hmm. can use cans. I prefer to use the, the fresh. So this is about half of a pineapple. I have red bell peppers and jalapenos. I did de-seed the jalapenos and take out the vein so it's not as spicy. Okay. And then I have some fresh cilantro here. We want to keep this simple because when we slide over to the display, you will notice that there is an array of flavor going on over there. If you watched the show the last time, this unmarked shaker is yeah, my special I spice. I, mm -mm, I can't tell you. Uh, so the, we special, oh. the special spice. I told you, I told you the last time. I'll pay, I'll pay you for that recipe. Right? All right, right? and it. we're going to add some raw honey. No, if you get the special spice recipe, you're going to have to start working for me. And I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we could work with that. Put me to work. Put me to work. All right, we got some salt. Did our boss just hear that? Then Matt's going to have a part-time job here soon. Part-time job. Part job. <laughs> and then we're going to finish it off with some fresh 
properly squeeze the lemon juice. And now again, you, this I like this too because it's got you just put honey in there too, so mm -hmm. adding that little sweetness along with the pineapple. That's right. And then the tart of the lemon. It just sounds like there's so many flavors. So many lemon. flavors. And if you want to jazz this up, you can grill your pineapples and your jalapenos Ooh. and all it's before so it's not it's a roasted pineapple salsa. All right, so this is simple. Um, you can even leave this overnight to help develop those flavors even more, but even just as this fresh as we see it, it's great. So I'll go ahead and plate that up. So you, I, I love the colors, the yellow, yes. the yellow, the reds, the greens, it's just, and cilantro is my, one of my favorite like herbs. So here we have fresh Beautiful. pineapple salsa and you can serve that with whatever. You can make your own little bread chips. You can go to the store, you can buy tortillas. I bought some pita chips, whatever makes your heart happy, go That's for it. That's what we're gonna do. We're actually going to be trying this, or we're gonna try to oh, try yeah, it. Oh yeah, we're gonna try meatballs. it. We're gonna do that coming up right after the break.